Hi guys, this is Carl and this is my first ever YouTube tutorial video in Integral Calculus and this will be all about the additional standard formulas that are derived from trigonometric substitution. Substitution is a higher advanced topic in Integral Calculus which that is usually discussed after the, that is one of the methods actually, methods of integration. So all of that you learn from the basic trigonometric exponential formulas will all be utilized here. Kaya importante na um, basic pa lang, trigonometric pa lang, exponential pa lang, alam mo na agad yung ginagawa mo. Are the six additional standard formulas in integral calculus. All of these are derived from trigonometric substitution which is a higher topic in integral calculus. For the first formula, integral of du over u squared plus a squared, I'm going to derive the formula from the trigonometric substitution. So I'm going to draw a right triangle. Ayan, itong right triangle naman dito has no important specification. Like, kailangan merong specific length, no. Just don't forget to put this one. Para ma-indicate na right triangle yan. Okay. So, since we have here u squared plus a squared, you know, from Pythagorean theorem, Pythagorean theorem is, states that the sum of the squares of the two legs of a right triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse or the longest leg. It follows that C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So, yung sum nitong dalawa. Consequently, it also the same or equivalent to this one. So, we have A is equal to C squared minus B squared. Yung difference ng dalawang yan. And then, B similar D is equal to the difference of A squared. Uh, no, sorry. This one is C. C squared minus A squared. Alright. Since itong case na to, we have U, U squared plus A squared, gagamitin natin itong dalawang legs ng triangle. Uh, so, ito, this one can be U, and this one can be A. Consequently, the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of a squared plus u squared. So, it is the same as the square root of the sum of u squared plus a squared. So, same lang yun. Alright. So, using trigonometric substitution, so, dito, ilalabel na natin to na theta. Okay. So, this one is in the second case ng trigonometric substitution. We will let u be equal to a tangent theta. Consequently, du is equal to a times the differential of tangent theta, which is second squared theta, d theta. And then, pwede na tayo mag-substitute dito sa original given. So, therefore, we now have here du. So, we have a a second squared theta d theta and then over u squared so yung u natin itong a tangent theta so yung square nyan is obviously a squared tangent squared theta hindi tangent theta squared magkaiba yon be careful and then plus a squared okay since the denominator Merong common factor. Ilalabas natin tong common factor na ito. Uh, we now have here the integral of a second squared theta. Walang nangyari sa numerator. And then sa ilalim, ilalabas natin yung a squared. And then yung mga matitira na lang sa loob, tatanggalan natin ng a squared pareho. So we have tangent squared theta plus 1. Alright. From the trigonometry, 
Wait lang, wala to. Wala. Erase, erase, erase. You know that... Ay, ito pala pwede na mag-cancel out. So, itong dalawang to. A raise to 1, A raise to 2. So, cancel out. And then, ito cancel na rin. Magiging 1 na lang. You know that uh, tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to second squared theta. Ayan. O, so, ibig sabihin, pwede nang mag-cancel ito. Ano na lang matitira? So, itong 1 over A na lang. O, so, we now have here 1 over A times the integral of D theta. Madali na lang yan. The integral of this one, mag-cancel yung integral sign at saka yung D. So, magiging 1 over A times theta. Plus capital C. Don't forget the capital C. Pagtapos ka na mag-integrate. So, this theta will be taken from this one. You know, for simplicity, nandito na tayo sa expression na to, u is equal to a tangent theta. I will put here, I will continue here. From this relation, tangent theta is equal to u over a. O, from trigonometry, Theta consequently is equal to arctangent u over a. So, itong arctangent na to, we have certain, I'm sorry, we have certain conditions here. So, meron lang specific values dapat tong u at saka a. So, here, meron na tayong value ng theta, ilalagay na natin dito. So, therefore, we have 1 over a. 1 over a times arctangent. Tanggalin ko na tong times na to. Arctangent u over a plus capital C. So, this is now our first formula in the additional standard formulas. Example. So, for the first example, we're going to make use of the first formula. So, yung case na yon u squared plus a squared, tapos walang square root or anything, tapos nasa ilalim. Okay, so, first example, let's have here the integral of dx over 3x squared plus 9, or plus ano na lang, plus 15. Okay. So, since wala tayong nakikitang x sa taas, ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng gamitin yung ganito, yung, for, yung integral of du over u, hindi pwedeng gamitin. Kasi, wala yung u, walang x dito sa taas, which is yung derivative ng 3x squared. So, in this case, dito na natin gagamitin yung additional standard formula. Since we have a binomial here, tapos parehas pang squared, So, 3x squared, tapos yung 15 na to, it can be expressed as a square of another square root of the number. Okay, so madali lang ito. We're going to express this as a square of two quantities. Also, we have here. Also, ito paano natin i-express to as a square. Oh, so obviously 3 is not a perp is not a perfect square. So ang kanyang square root i is square root of 3. And then x squared, yung square root ng x squared ay x. So be careful no in writing this one kasi ang naas square root lang yung 3 lang. Yung x hindi kasama. Okay. How about this one? So we have here square root of 15. So, wala namang uh, factor yung 15 na perfect square. So, talagang ganyan na lang yan. Alright. So, recall from the formula. Yung formula natin kanina, du over u squared plus a squared. So, ibig sabihin, yung du, dapat yun yung differential nitong u. 
nito. Dapat ito nasa itaas yung differential nito. Ano ba yung differential niyan? Okay, so makikita natin na 1 to 1 correspondence na yan. Ito na ibig sabihin yung U. Tapos ito yung A. Never ever interchange that. Kung maglalet na tayo, so let U be equal to the square root of 3X. Madali na lang yan. The DU will be square root of 3 dx. Wala naman tayo nakikita ang square root of 3 dito. Kahit saan, wala. So, dyan na ngayon papasok yung neutralizing factor na 1 over square root of 3. Take note na wag muna kayo mag-rationalize dito. Sa final answer na lang kayo mag-rationalize kasi may mga instances na kusang mag-rationalize yung mga given. Okay. Let's let us now insert the neutralizing factor. So, pag nag-insert na tayo ng neutralizing factor dito sa harap, dapat dito sa given, nandun na rin yung du. Ayan. So, makikita natin na yung nasa itaas, eto na yon tapos ayan, magka-cancel out sila. Pero syempre, hindi mo yun ka-cancel out. Para saan pa itong ginawa natin kung ika-cancel out mo rin? Okay, tapos yun dito, ganun pa rin. So, we have square root of 3x quantity square plus square root of 15 quantity square. O, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula since fulfilled na du over u squared plus a squared. Okay, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula. So, we have 1 third. Ito yung 1 over square root of 3. Ayan yun. O, tapos yung formula natin na 1 over a. O, 1 over a. Ang a natin ay square root of 15. O, 1 over a. Arctangent u. u over a and then plus capital C dito na tayo ngayon magsisimplify so dito we have 1 over square root of 45 ayan and then dito arctangent pwede tayo magsimplify dito sa loob ng arctangent so take note na itong ano na to square root of 3x over square root of 15 nasa loob yan ng arctangent function hindi natin, yan mag, hindi natin yan mababago. Kahit patamaan ng bagyo yan, hindi yan magbabago. Ganyan pa rin yan. Pero yung nasa loob, pwede natin galawin. Okay, so paano mangyayari dito? So we have square root of 3. Actually, pwedeng ganito yung pagsulat. Para, kasi baka mamaya maitabi mo sa 3 dito sa loob. Mamamali ka na. Tapos ngayon, mag maggagawa tayo ng operation dito sa loob ng arctangent. Lagyan ko ng ganyan. So, para mag-cancel out ito, what are we going to... Paano natin i-rationalize yan? So, we multiply by the square root of 15. That's the uh, fastest way. Tapos ito rin, pwede na natin i-rationalize. So, you know that this square root of 45 is equal to 3 square root of 5. Paano kaya nangyari yun? You know that 45 is equal to 9 times 5. O yung 9 perfect square, ilabas na natin. So, maging 3 na. Dito magmultiply na tayo ng square root of 5 over square root of 5. Tapos dito, aba ganun din. Katulad nitong um, square root of 3 times square root of 15, magiging square root of 45 yun. O, so, x square root of 45. And then, sa ilalim, we have 15. Plus capital C. Okay, so simplifying this, we have square root of 
over so ito mawala na yung square root so 3 times 5 is equal to 15 so arctangent for this one simplify lang natin kagaya nung kanina so we now have here 3x square root of 5 over 15 aba simplifiable pa pala ito so finally the answer will be 5 square root of 5 over 15 arctangent x square root of 5 over 5 plus capital C another solution for this problem okay so let me show you so uh, I'm writing the problem so take note that here so first ano natin so first ay sorry so first solution natin hindi na tayo nag factor out pag sinabi natin na hindi tayo nag factor out yung x squared yung coefficient ng x squared ay number pa rin pero sa second solution Paano kung halimbawa i-factor out natin ito? Gagawin lang nating 1 yung x, yung coefficient na tong x squared. So it is another option. It is up to you. Okay. So I'm going to factor this out. Whether itong etong quantity na to ay multiple nitong ito, it's it's um regardless of that. Basta ilalabas natin yung coefficient nito. Ayan, so we have 3 times the quantity x squared plus 5. And then itong 3 na to, ilalabas natin dito sa labas. So, mapupunta na yan dito dahil constant yan, hindi na natin yan isasama sa loob ng operation. O, so we now have here dx over x squared plus 5. Mas madali na, obviously. So, u is equal to x and a is equal to square root of 5. Ayan yun. Since we express this one as u squared plus a squared, O, edi mas madali na dahil ang du is equal to dx na. O, 1 na yan. 1 to. dx, dx. Exact na. Pwede na tayong gumamit ng formula. So, finally, the answer will be 1 third. Ito yon Times 1 over a. O, 1 over a. Dito, pwede na rin tayo mag-rationalize. So, we have square root of 5 over square root of 5. And then, arctangent u x x over square root of 5 x u over a. Dito sa loob ng arctangent, pwede na rin tayo mag-rationalize. Don't forget to put the parentheses kasi baka iba maging assumption dyan. And then plus capital C. Also dito, madali na lang. We have square root of 5 over, katulad nung kanina, 15 na lang yan. Kasi mag-cancel na yung square root 5 na lang times 3, 15. Tapos dito, we have arctangent x square root of 5 over 5 plus capital C. Pwede na natin tanggalin yung parenthesis dito kasi isang term na lang yan. Okay, so check natin kung ayan yung sagot natin kanina. So, square root of 5 over 15 arctangent x square root of 5 over 5 plus capital C. O, ito yung sagot natin kanina. Yay! So, it's up to you kung ano yung gusto nyong gawin. So, pwedeng etong x squared, tanggalin nyo yung coefficient, ilabas nyo. Tapos, mag-perform kayo agad nung ganito. Or, pwede rin namang 
ilabas nyo yung coefficient ng x squared as a constant. Kapupunta na